my name is Joel Rodrigues. Uh, I'm a SharePoint developer uh, at Storm, a company based in Dublin. Um, you can get links to my Twitter account and blah, blah, blah. So the presentation is a project module for PNPJS, and uh, this happened when I was working on my previous job on a company which was quite strong in project. And as a SharePoint developer, it happened that I had to work with some bits of project and the massive I had a massive resistance at the beginning when trying to deal with the tool chain they had and the, the common approaches for customiza customizing the sites, which for us, we are SharePoint developers. We look at the site and it's just a SharePoint site with extra bits. Uh, so I thought, well, that can't be that hard to use the SharePoint tools on the same scenario. Why do I have to use uh, tools from that were common in the SharePoint space like two or three years ago, or maybe more than that? So I start looking around, um, and while I was working on it, I found some barriers uh, which I noticed that had a massive impact slowing me down uh, in progress, which was the learning curve for the product. Uh, I didn't know the project REST API, so everything was uh, me trying to, on um, the browser, trying to find endpoints and things like that, or a um, similar experience. Uh, the standards are a bit mixed. Um, and as I mentioned, there was no really modern development story like we have in SPFX. Um, so I start playing around and eventually got uh, tried SPFX. It just worked straight away. There, there was no uh, surprise there. Um, web parts work on classic pages and project has classic pages. Everything was fine. Um, so we get immediately all the benefits from SPFX, as we all know. Uh, there is a good development story, documentation. Uh, you, you, you can pick any framework you want. Uh, and you get, of course, support using web parts for classic pages. And on top of that, you get the extensibility options for calling graph and the, the third party APIs. Um, and all, all the bits and bobs that you get from SharePoint framework, you get a lot of advantages compared to the common scenarios. So the project module for PNPJS was everything was good when I start being able to hook SPFX in project, but the REST API was still a big barrier. So I looked around and found the first development version of this package by Pavel. Um, I have a link to the initial repo here, um, which I then end up uh, cloning, and at some point I end up recreating from a basically clone from PNPJS, so I could easily update to the latest versions without depending on Pavel, uh, because uh, my pull request, the first pull request I submitted to this original repo is still open, so I don't think uh, Pavel is maintaining the repository anymore, but uh, anyway, all the credit for the code is is really his. Uh, I just basically used it to pick, fix a few bugs and end up publishing so it's easier to consume. So the package works pretty much the same as the SP package for PNPJS and covers the underscore API project server endpoint in Project Online. Uh, so this is a development version, kind of. Uh, even though I've used it in production already in some scenarios. Um, you get all the helpers and all the structure from PNPJS, which you can't go wrong with. Um, so this, just to make clear to everyone, not to Patrick, <laughs> uh, this is not in the main PNPJS repository. It's a package you can install completely separate from PNP at the moment, at least. Um, it's not 100% production ready. Some endpoints I just have no time to test, and uh, I know there was, there are still some issues in some operations that don't work yet. Uh, but 
if you have the need, test it, make your own judgment, see if it works on the scenarios that you need. The coverage is already massive. I will say maybe 80, 90 percent of the endpoints. Uh, so it's a lot of work there, especially from Pavel. Um, so let me show this. Uh, so the original repository, as I mentioned, uh, you can get a link from the slides as well. As you can see, my pull request is still here. And he actually went here tomorrow. So I don't think this is being maintained. Um, this, this solution here is in the repository that David was just showing. Uh, it's called react-pnpjs-project-online. Um, you can get the code. This is just a sample code, just some sample code to call some endpoints that I created. Um, the UI is terrible. And it's here just so I can I can easily invoke uh, the functions, but you can get things like get projects, and as you can see, you get everything. You can use all the benefits of PNPJS, uh, things like select or orders. Um, this is currently working with the latest version of um, PNPJS one not two, so keep that in mind if you give that a try, uh, because you will need to install uh, dependencies for PNP command, PNP logging, and PONPO data, but you can install those from NPM, just target the latest 1.x version, and everything should work. Um, I have a blog post I'll show in a moment. So, as an example, we get all these. So let me pick a project here. And I'm just logging everything on the console, but you can see that operations. In here, I'm just hitting a lot of endpoints for the project resource. My mouse batteries are dying, I think. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of data being returned. And this is everything you can get at the moment, if I'm not wrong, from the package in the project endpoint, but there is lots of endpoints you can get there, like tasks, uh, or you can have even add things like other project. And that takes a little bit, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, or update the project which does all the supports all the operations you need, like check out and then you update, you publish and then you check in again the project. Every, all of this is already supported, which is very useful. Uh, you get things like tasks. Um, so just to show a few endpoints, uh, you get all the information. If we look at the code, if you are familiar with PNPJS, then you know that it would be something like this, and that's it. All you need is an async method or promises if you prefer, and then you just await and you can go. You get IntelliSense dot, and then you get everything from here. You can go projects dot. If you want, for example, to add a project, then you come here and you get IntelliSense on everything. It's fabulous. Uh, project APIs are very hard, in my opinion. Um, so this makes development extremely easier. Um, it works everywhere the same. Uh, if someone here is watching and is from the project space and not SharePoint, then you are really missing out to give this a try because they will make your life so, so, so much easier. Um, if you want to work locally, um, so this is the project you can install from NPM if you just want to give it a try and then you install these three packages as well. And this one. Um, if you want to run in development so you can maybe fix any bug you find or add any extra feature, uh, you can still do it. Uh, so follow the 
steps that uh, David showed before to clone the project or download. Um, this version here on my GitHub account has the latest uh, PNPJS, uh, maybe not the latest now. Um, so you can put that side by side with your project and then uh, build the packages. You can follow the documentation. I have the commands here that you will need uh, on PNPJS repository. And then in your SPFX web part, um, now before you do that, you need to install the peer dependencies on the package. So you basically follow these steps. You need to go to the project package directory on the dist folder and then install the dependencies. And after that, you can simply install locally into your SPFX solution and it will just work. Uh, so you can make code changes, repackage, and then everything will reflect in your uh, SPFX project. And that's it. Thank you very much. Very cool. And this is something I'm very excited to see get out to the community just because I know uh, various folks have been working on this or talking about this for a while. I hope folks check it out. Uh, if you got some project work you're doing, uh, it's, it's really a cool resource. Great work, uh, Joel, on getting that uh, out. Mm -hmm.